Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of building the fire truck pizza oven. Right now, I have it set up in a way to just give a give an idea. There's actually been a lot of progress that's gone on that you guys haven't seen. I haven't been doing the best job filming everything. So in the last episode, you saw me build the frame, which is underneath here. Um, I went ahead and I think at last episode you saw some cardboard. I went ahead and did a little bit more serious of an outline. So this will give you a good idea of how tall everything is, how or how wide it all is. I um, went ahead and put these panels up temporarily. And then this crossbar is just tacked in. It's tacked in on either side. So the plan is right now, basically this piece of metal, this sheet metal, um, that's the base, needs to come out. This all needs to get ground down and painted. All this bare metal needs to be painted. All of this needs to be painted. This needs to get uh, bolted down to this um, for the last time. And then I'm gonna weld the seam so it's super strong. I'm gonna weld all throughout that structure that's underneath that. And in the back, all that rusty metal. I got some, uh, we, just some Rust-Oleum rust stuff. So we're not gonna get that down to bare metal and shiny and everything, but we will, we will do what we can while it's opened up and de-rust it as much as we can. For everything else, we just got some self-etching primer. Um, that will work for all the bare metal stuff. I will be welding through it. I couldn't find any uh, weld through primer, so we'll just have to grind off where, we, where we're gonna weld, and then we'll just primer back over it when it's hot. But we need to make sure that we get in between the surfaces. We need to make sure we get we need to make sure just everything's covered and coated. We're also, this is where the concrete is gonna be poured on this surface right here. And that's okay if it's bare metal because it's gonna be encased in concrete. There's gonna be some, some studs poking up. But the bottom of this definitely needs to get coated at a minimum. And I think I might as well just do the top, at least around the edges, like this inside edge right here. We'll need to get painted a lot of stuff I'm um, just gonna be painted. So in this episode, you will see a lot of tear down and a lot of painting and grinding and stuff like that. Just getting the truck ready to pour concrete into, which we're getting pretty close to the end. So stay tuned and we'll start tearing this apart. <laughs> All right, we got uh, everything cleared out. Now we just have to vacuum it and then paint it.
so I got it all bolted in. The bolts are tight. There's two in the back. Um, you can't see them, but they are, those are pretty hard to get by myself. Had to do the old vice grip on top trick. So now it is in its final resting place and it's time to weld it in. I went ahead and cut out some just scrap angle iron. I'm gonna put them um, kinda just throughout so it'll connect this structure to the structure of the tank back there. Um, yeah, here we go. get this welder off all right so I got all those welded up these front two I welded all the way around and then there's one there 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 and then on the other side of that I just welded the top uh, what I'm gonna do now is clean everything and then prime it except for right here because I still need to weld this and we'll prime that after that's all welded and eventually I'm going to drill into here on each one. I'm going to drill maybe two holes right there and then bolt it. So this is a super strong connection. This is fairly strong, um, but it's just insurance. We're never going to be able to get to it again once the top is welded on. So might as well put a couple holes in each one and it'll be bolted down and weld it down and it'll be really strong. So let's clean this up and then prime it.
um, that is where we're going to end this video. We have the base plates ready to go in. We'll probably, when we put those in, we'll weld them. And then I think we'll do some bolts from the top all the way through um, to the bottom of the actual fire engine. And it's okay that the bolt head will be poking through there because we're going to pour concrete on top. And we're going to, it's fine if there's a bolt because there will be concrete. We got that all done. Everything's painted. The bottom side of the base plates are painted so nothing's going to rust. The top side, the edges are ground down so that we can get some clean bare metal to weld to when we weld, weld it around. Um, next episode will probably We'll probably be building the forms to pour the concrete. Well, uh, next episode will be pretty cool. I think this one was pretty cool too. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. And that's it. Goodbye.